This is me. I'm in the middle of Southeast Asia and I just turned 20 years old. And this video is some old footage of my life. It seemed like so long ago and yet only yesterday. Well over 20 years living, traveling and working in Southeast Asia. I was a backpacker, I was a missionary and I was a business owner. I left my family home when I was only 16 years old and traveled halfway across the world to Southeast Asia. Those 20 years shaped me into who I am today. And maybe this just might give you a perspective of how and why I approach life the way I do. I spent a lot of time in villages where life was very simple. People didn't really have much. And a lot of the ethnic minorities that we visited, we were helping with basic needs like shelter, food, water, and clothing. And yet, in the middle of all of that, where people had nothing, they were happy. They were really happy and probably some of the happiest people I have ever met in my life. And it was a joy and honor to work with these people. And then we were off the beaten track in the middle of nowhere, sometimes surrounded by rice paddies and sometimes way, way up in the mountains. At times, the altitude being 10,000 to 14,000 feet. Always rural, sometimes without electricity or running water. And I loved it, every moment of it. Even transport was simple. I was thrown in the deep end and had to learn how to drive a motorcycle. And the majority of my time was spent driving around on a little Honda scooter. Then there was the language and I had to learn to communicate because not a lot of people spoke English. I picked up a little of the Thai language and even some of the Laotian language. And it's amazing how just a few words can get you places. One of my favorite languages to learn was Mandarin Chinese one of the hardest languages in the world. I have found, along with communication, that relationship is key to everything. One of the most important words I learned in Mandarin Chinese is the word guan xi, and it means relationship, but it means so much more than that. Often the people of Southeast Asia refer to relationships as circles, sometimes an inner circle, sometimes the outer circles, the people you know and the people that you are bound to. After 20 years of living, working and traveling in Southeast Asia, I don't just have friends, I have a lot of family. And then uh, that, that makes all the tea, the salt, the butter, everything together. <coughs> 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 
上把生意吃，吃不吃？娃娃先不吃，现在上把。娃娃不不吃。吃。开始的喂。Hello. Hello. Not one day was the same. Every day was different, and so you learn to ride the adventure. A life of adventure, a nomadic life of minimalism and simplicity. It was a very, very different world, and I'm so very thankful to have had those experiences that have shaped me into the person that I am today. Views from the bathroom. The lady's having a conversation about the pulley. Maybe this one's not safe or something. She wants to change it, but the guy's like, nah. We are. We are. That's the rice up there. You can see they start a fire, and the fire uh, heats up water in a drum barrel, fed by uh, you can see right behind a uh, bamboo <laughs> thing that makes a steam for the rice. Uh, this is the village that we're living in, and right now we're eating evening dinner. Dinner. Oh, oh, but delicious food. <laughs> We are on the road uh, to Li Tang, and what's happened is there is the road is completely wiped out, as you can see. And all the buses over there cannot come. And we, I, we're stuck. The road was wiped out with a mudslide, and so the people got out of the buses and they hiked over the mudslide. I feel a little worried. <laughs> you can just about see me. I'm the one in red with the backpack on. Yes, we joined everyone else getting out of the bus, hiking over the mudslide and the debris and the rocks that were still falling, and then jumped on the buses that had turned around, and we were on our way on the opposite side. This was the same trip. Every year, these roads are wiped out by the rains, and certain parts of the roads need to be walked and navigated carefully by foot. Hey! Hey! Zola, Zola, Huijalo! Why Zola, Huijalo? That was let's go, let's go. We're on our way home. We just helped this uh, little lady, she's on a pilgrimage around there. She's uh, going around the temple on a pilgrimage. And uh, she needed some water, so we just gave her some and just told her, God bless you. Wow. Thank you. 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 <laughs> my faith in God has been my passion and my drive. It has been my way, my life, and my truth. This is a glimpse into the life that I have led so far, a life that has shaped me into who I am today. Me living life wild, open. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>